स्टूडी You know what's awesome about being able to stand and do this? Bogoy! Abba! Be able to fly my beautiful boy, Bogoy! Woo! We gotta watch out for him shooting out. He's so hungry. Woo hoo hoo! You're gonna make me reveal it now? Fine, I'll reveal it now. Ah, nice, big, beautiful empire. Ah, Miss Toothy. Do you see what Uncle Stone brought for you? Uh, welcome back to another wildlife. It's me, Mr. Wild, also known as the Crocodile What's Whisperer. Up? Watch this. Whispering at Nadia. Stay. Good girl, I whispered her. And my good friend Stone. What's up, my brother from another What's mother? Up, hey, Native Villa from I bring some goodies. Hey, what's up? Look at all this fresh sushi from, from, my, from my boys, girls, my little guppies, my big geckos. Beautiful banana. We're going to feed Aries, the Nile crocodile. We're going to be feeding Miss Toothy right here, but just over the fence because I can't really. I can do a little. Look, I can do a little. Doo, 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 doo. But just, just mainly hopping for right now. But we're good. So uh, let's get ready to feed these crooks. We're ready to cut those fish away. Good stuff. Good girl. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, look at her. Look at her crunching that down. What a little beastie. I hope she likes Benita, fresh from the ocean. Oh, she loves it. Look at her. I love this croc so much. Yeah. You happy, Miss Toothy? Little snack? Aries! Oh, don't you love the belch of a crocodile? Aries! That was a burp. Come on, Aries. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Oh, I love this big boy. I need to get a pair of tongs like this. These are great. They are. Amazon, brother. Yo, this. Amazon? You got these on Amazon? Yes, sir. There you go, Miss Tooty. Come on, Aries. Come on, Aries, your dog. Come get some fish. Ah, uh, look at that. Let's get up getting this gills right here. Come on, get it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Look, Aries, he knows, Aries knows. Don't mess with Miss Toothy. Aries, come on, come on, big boy, get your piece. Look at him. Oh, look at Miss Toothy's teeth. Can you believe those teeth were in my leg? Aries, come on, eat up. You don't like your fish? Come on. Oh my God, she looks like a velociraptor. Look at her. Stone, thanks for the fish. They're happy. Aries, you don't want fish? Don't worry, we got feral pigs coming soon. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, look how submissive he gets with Miss Toothy, letting her take that food. Oh, there we go. Oh. He knows that she's she means business. Look at that. Bro, did you see that? that was... Aries was like, okay, okay, just take it. Yeah. Just take it. She doesn't mess with the white. That just shows you how gnarly that Cuban crocodile is. Come on. Oh, dude, what a badass. The crack. high walk, dude. Oh, oh yeah. The high walk. That's what makes Cuban Crocs gnarly. On three, Throw ready? Fish. Go One, ahead, partner. Go ahead. Two, three. Bonita Tulls. Come on, Aries. That's all you. Oh, oh. he doesn't <laughs> like fish. He'll save it for later. It's okay. Miss she Toothy loves likes it. it. Look at Miss Toothy, though. Oh. Hopefully, we get a head. Oh, They're this out. is awesome. I didn't even think they're gonna do head thrashes with the fish. She's gonna use all of her weight, break herself off a nice little piece right now. Oh! <laughs> That's awesome. Oh! <laughs> right into Eddie's mouth! Like and Eddie's catches it. Oh, oh she, she got her piece. She said, there you go. Oh, look at that. Is he gonna eat the fish now? He's like, okay, she had what she wanted. Look at oh. that. She means business. To make a 12 foot male Nile submit, Ooh. wait for its turn. Crocs That's rule. So cool. All right, I say we hop on over into the next scene. Where's my snake? Yeah. This park, we paid or we spared no expense. <laughs> we spared no expenses. 
Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at this. She's cracking off a whole bonita. Are they gonna share it? He hasn't shown any interest in that fish. Oh yeah, oh, mine. Look at that. Oh! Oh! That's badass, bro. Dude, Crocs. Ooh. That is so cool. Oh, she loves that. Mmm, sashimi. Let's see what Nadia wants to do. Nadia, you want some fish? Ooh, hoo -hoo. how do you like that fish? Oh, she loved that. Done. Done, son. Thank you, Uncle Stone. There you go. She looks so good, too. She's getting blonder and blonder. Here, you want to feed her? Yeah, let's ahead, do feed it. Her some. Look at this. Beautiful. Simon's croc. I'm going to do a little, little uh, Jedi, Jedi bounce right here to be with my crocs. You want some food? Good girl. Oh. She's always hungry. Dude, I, I fed her a whole rabbit, and then a day later, she's coming. She's like, more food, more food, and she's bloated like a whale. She's such a beast. And one day, because she's critically endangered, hopefully we can have a male and produce more critically endangered Siamese crocodiles. That's a little treat for my girl. That's some good sushi. Wait, wait, which all should I do? That's good. Oh, this rope. <laughs> That's why I'm not going to the croc enclosures yet. <laughs> Lo and behold, I take my first steps without having to hop. Look at this, guys. Just got my wrap changed. Probably going to add some more wrapping to it in a second, but this is actually the first time that I'm able to walk and not have to hop around. It's something, it's a start. So we're going to rehab and be able to start doing river dances and kickflip and whatnot. But you know what's awesome about being able to stand and do this? Bugoy! Up up! Be able to fly my beautiful boy, Bugoy! Big lessons to learn, but hey, it's a part of the territory. You work with crocs, you get bit. You work with fire, you get burned. You're caught, you might get shot. It's all part of the game, all part of the risk, but it's all something I accept because I love these animals. Look at him. Look at him. Beautiful boy, Bugoy! I love you. It's really hard to film right now. As you guys can see, it's, this is my first time trying to walk around. So hopefully I'll be able to start doing more stuff as the days go on and I'm able to walk more and more and move faster around. But literally, this is the first time I'm able to walk like this. So this is insane. I'm actually super stoked that I'm able to do this because before it was just pins and needles in my foot. I had the nerves that were severed every time I tried to put pressure on that round. So hopefully we're dropping an episode tomorrow. We'll film some updates on the King Cover Cage, which is about to be done, and also take care of Alice and the Black Mamba who just shed, and also Kevin the King Cobra who laid a spicy meatball. Mamma mia! I will see you guys in the next clip. I took a dip in a crock pond to get the job done, but then I fixed my hair, and before I knew it, she popped my leg, and I was dumb. You don't want to have a bum leg like me. You don't want to be limping like me. You want to stay safe and read the warning before you participate. Hey, what's going on, beautiful people? Look at this. Ah, I can do a little walk now. This is great. I can walk around just a little bit. Probably just enough where I can clean Kevin the King Cobra, but I don't think I'll be doing Justina today or tomorrow. Look at this. I can do a little dance. I can do circles. Do a little bend. Do a little bend. Look at that. We'll just be dealing with Kevin the King Cobra today, but before that, let's feed Torcio Bello, known as the Fur Lance. The most notorious snake in all of Central and the top of South America. This is the, the little arrow of the viper world. They, these guys shoot out like a little dart and they've got a nasty, nasty venom. He just went through shed, so little Jose the Fertilance has grown like crazy. Let's get this unlocked. You've got to be super careful because there's extra insulation to keep this guy from squeezing out any gaps or anything like that. So let's pop that glass up. Be real careful. There we go. Clean rats, a little delicious meal. You hungry? Jose? Jose, huh? You interested? Woo -hoo -hoo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Did you see that? He is so fast. You want this? Come on. You want that? Come on. You interested? Look at that. Oh, look at his face. Look how beautiful that face is. As he gets older, his colors will become more and more vibrant, and he's gonna get roughly around six feet long. A fertile ant's gonna actually get nearly eight feet long, depending on what side of Central America they're found, what coast. All right, so I'm actually gonna take one more little rat, and put it in there so he gets a nice meal. 
We're gonna push this to the side, nice and safe. Pull out this big old shed. Oh, look at this. Oh, bro, he's growing like crazy. That is so cool. I got him with a little worm and he just keeps growing and growing. Let's just secure this. Put that lock on, nice and secure. Perfecto. Now, let's feed the world's most venomous snake drop for drop, the inland taipan. Little Stevie, my boy Steve. These are some of the easier snakes for me to deal with. Right now, well, it's not, well, it's not really easy to do jumping jacks and run around, you know what I'm saying? So let's see, get this glass open. This is another cage that's very secure because this is a little danger new, of course. Let's see, he's probably somewhere right here. Off him a nice little mouse fuzzy. Stevie. Stevie, you hungry? Stevie, come on. You want this? Stevie. Come on, Stevie. Oh, look at that. Straight for the head. And it actually looks like he's going through shed because he looks real dull. Look at his coloration. Look at the oranges, the spots on his belly with the yellow. He is such a cool snake. Just a little yearling inland taipan. World's most venomous snake, drop for drop. But they don't kill anyone because nobody comes into contact with them out in the middle of nowhere of the Simpsons Desert. Awesome. Look at that. Nice and secure. Nice and tight. You can see he's chowing down already. I'll probably throw him another mouse fuzzy. But for the meantime, let's clean some snakes. Ooh, it's been a while. All right, so we got our snake holding receptacle right here. So we know the difference, of course. Let's take out these monocled cobras. As you guys know, my monocled cobras, ooh, they are quite snappy little snakes. Uh, the albino monocled cobra that's in here was a gift from my friend that retired from venomous snake keeping. And then the biggest monocled cobra, oh, you already hear them. The biggest monocled cobra in here is actually the first ever monocled cobra I worked with when I was a minor, when I was just a little kid. Let's see if we can get this out nice and easy. There we go. Let's take out Sunshine first because she's always a difficult one. Woo, look at you, beautiful girl. Sunshine, the albino monocle cobra. Nice and easy. Let's get you right into the holding receptacle right here. There you go. You stay in there, don't go anywhere. Kevin's gonna eat you, don't go over there. They don't, <laughs> they like you a little too much. There you go. And then Big Bertha, the big monocle cobra, the first ever monocle cobra I ever worked with. First ever cobra I was able to work with. Look at this, beautiful monocle cobra found throughout Asia. And they call the monocle cobra because of that O right on the back of their hood. Oh, relax, let's not upset her too much. Right back into the can, the whole receptacle. There you go. A little bit of vanilla and chocolate in there, my favorite little mix. There we go, nice and secure. Kevin, how you doing? You excited? Your King Cobra cage is almost done. Yes, it is. All right, look at this. Woo, got all these sheds going. These snakes are always growing, especially during the summer when it's hotter, there's more humidity. I'm glad I can start walking now, so I don't have to rely on other people to help me with my animals. I can start doing it myself. Well, except for mowing the grass inside the Cuban crock pen. We're gonna wait for that. <laughs> Mamma mia, oh, a little bit of nuggets here and here. Papa never gave me a Christmas gift. He only gave me rocks. And this is the only thing that suffices. It reminds me of the holidays. Mm. All right, get these snakes back where they belong. And move on to some big bad boys. Ooh, Kevin the King Cobra, wait until I show you what's cooking. All right, nice fresh H2. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Ah, you're strong, like the Wolverine. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's calm down. Let's take this seriously. Uh, yeah, these are the venomous reptiles. All right, beautiful people, let's get out my beauties. Oh, I hear you, you cranky little snakes. I know, I know. Oh, okay, let's look at these guys. So cranky. Big Bertha, you better not be letting sunshine influence you to be so aggressive. What's up, Cranky? How about you go right back inside? Oh, okay, get, get back inside. Oh, you're striking at nothing, you silly Billy. And then we got Big Bertha. Ooh, I love this girl. She is such a big, sweet snake. Of course, still dangerous, still venomous. I've just known her since I was a little boy. And I know her body language very well. I know, sweetie, right back into there. So drop for drop, these guys are actually more venomous than a king cobra because they're true cobras. Whereas king cobras are actually their own different family. Lots and secure. I know, I know, you cranky pants. All right, so there's a lot more to do, but I'm gonna wait for Alexis or one of my other friends that do venomous reptiles as well to come here and give me a hand. In the meantime, we'll deal with somebody that I'm quite familiar with and it's not too difficult. Kevin, the king cobra, my big boy. I'm gonna let him stretch, move around. 
I'm gonna put him right here on this stack of PVC. There's cardboard, so he's good to go. And he can sit here and relax while he plays enclosure. So let me get this big hook ready to go. As you know, Kevin, he's my love. I love him so much. But he's still a dangerous animal. The King Cobra is the longest venomous snake on the planet. And they have a venom yield, which allows them to pump enough, enough venom to kill actually a full elephant. And at this size, you're damn right, he would be able to do that. Look at him. Woo -hoo -hoo. Kevin. Big boy Kevin, what's going on? Where are you going? He's gonna go on a little crawl, check everything out. You're gonna make me catch up with you? You're gonna make me reveal it now? Fine, I'll reveal it now. Kevin, check this out. Ah, nice, big, beautiful empire that you're gonna be rocking and rolling and living in for the rest of your life. Look at this, Kevin the King Cobra's new King Cobra cage. He is going to be a king in his empire. There's just a little bit of dust and whatnot, nothing detrimental, but this will be where Kevin, the King Cobra, lives for the rest of his life. Oh, I'm so excited. This has been a dream of mine since before I even owned King Cobras. Look at this. This will be a giant sheet of pexiglass right here. Can you see the size of this enclosure? I'll be able to go up to Kevin, the King Cobra, and literally present him to guests through the glass right here, showing them the majestic beauty of the world's largest venomous snake. Woo, Kevin, I am so happy for you. You deserve this, buddy. I, I care about this guy so much. This enclosure is everything he deserves and some. $10,000 is a lot of money, but this guy means so much to me, and he's helped build up this empire as well because he made people fall in love with the King Cobra. Kevin, I need you to sit here for a second. Look, look. I need you to relax, okay? I need you to chill out. Let me clean your enclosure. Nice and easy. I want you to get used to my brother Chase because he's going to be around much longer. Come on. Go say hello to my brother Chase. Get used to, come on, get used to Kevin. No? All right, well, you'll get to know him. And you, you relax, okay? All right, let's see. I got to do some spot cleaning. Come here, Kevin. My big boy. There you go, fresh water buddy, nice clean enclosure. And soon enough, you'll be stretching every day of the week, never inside a cramped enclosure again. Justine will get bumped up to a bigger one, eventually a big custom enclosure. As time goes on, everything will get bigger, better, and just more fun. How exciting is this, guys? The build out of my wild world. Locked and secure, good to go. Woo! Come on, beautiful people. I'm walking again, not too fast, but I'm walking a little bit. Look, I'll do a little moonwalk right now. You like that, a little moonwalk, huh? <laughs> one more thing, one more thing. You guys will like this. Woo! I'm really happy I can walk. This is, I haven't been able to walk in weeks. This is amazing. All right. Allison, the Black Mamba, check this out. Let's get real low, look at her. Allison, the Black Mamba, she's hanging out. She just came out of shed and lo and behold, Another big, beautiful, perfect shed. She's on the other side. She's way over there. You should never stick your hand in a venomous reptile cage. But I see where she's at. We're good. Oh, oh black mamba shit. Let's go. Yeah, baby. 10 foot long black mamba chilling up on the sticks. The most notorious snake on the planet for handling. Oh my God, look at this. This is insane! Comment below your favorite part of the video. Get some people to like and share. Get them to subscribe. And I'll pick a random comment to win the shed skin. Woo, look at this! We'll send it out to your house. Look at that. That's insane. That's like a 12 foot mama skin right there. That is wild. All right, beautiful people. I will see you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe. And most of all, follow your dreams. Stick to what you love. Do what makes you happy because everything will eventually Fall in the place. Love you guys. I'll see you on the next one.